Farflung Tin Can, we are bridging the gap between two diverse worlds, the Christian home and the mission field, through missions awareness, missions engagement, and worship in everything. We are traveling the world to the most remote places on the planet to find those who have laid down everything to say yes to God. And whoever said missions can't be fun? God is calling. Will you take the call? Everybody's up and getting ready. This is a very big day for Gumbani, and uh, we're going to expect over 1,200 children to come with blow-ups and candy and games and uh, some magic by Hannah. And uh, so everyone is up and ready to go. Um, right now, it already has for loading these bags. <laughs> These are all the goodie bags we made the other day for the kids uh, to hand out the children's day. They're very heavy. We have 1,200 of these to load up and take over. Is there any more in the little bag? I mean the small ones? We need the smaller ones. This one already has a ribbon. Oh, oh well. We need the smaller ones. <laughs> okay. We need the smaller ones. Well, should we get them? Yeah. We're going to have them. I can tuck the smaller ones on top. Look at this little, he's just giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why she thought he was, I mean, he thought she was born 2002. He did. <laughs> How about you help me? <laughs> so the truck with the inflatables has gotten stuck in the sand, and it looks like we've got about 15 guys and Celia. It may be in there too, trying to get it out of the sand. Now you're getting everything prepared to start uh, the big Children's Day here. Uh, just getting the inflatables positioned, the, the trampolines and everything to get it started. And the kids are plugging in. And what's happening behind you? Uh, the truck got stuck. <laughs> so sandy here, and so we're trying to get the, the truck out so that we can move the other inflatables to the other location. Um, we're just kind of just letting them pick which one they want. Painting the faces of all the kids. How many kids do you think you've painted so far? Uh, I think we've at least done, I'd say about a hundred between all of us. Oh wow. Yeah, a lot. Do you know that that's not even like 5%? <laughs> well, we have lots of energy to keep going, so we'll be okay. We've lots of paint. Lots of paint. Sure. Lots of paint. Face painting. Can't get you, honey. We're helping with the program. There's inflatables. There's everything going on this whole day. It is a draining day, but it's an incredible. Day. Look at that footage of footage. What do you think, Carolyn? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot happening, huh? Yeah, a lot happening. Beautiful smiles, beautiful faces. It's a great day. Okay, two. Both there? Yeah, I scored a guy, I'm sick. See, see, see. Oh! 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 O
This is so much fun. We are having more fun than the kids. Oh my gosh. My brother, Kyle, he gets the GoPro. And he, the girl's like, okay, I'm gonna slide down with you guys and I'm gonna get you. Yes, go, go, go! When he hits the bottom, he goes like, boom, and up. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that was quite uh, professionally done. Well, nothing professional about it. <laughs> Poor boy. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. He hit his tailbone right, right at the bottom and up. And if you ask him, he's still hurting five days later. <laughs> Three weeks ago, at 6 a.m., we were here in church, getting ready for church, and then this mother came with the little boy because he got badly burned and he had gone to the hospital three days earlier to get treated, but <coughs> they didn't even touch the wound and they sent him home with Tylenol. And so we had um, burned supplies and creams and, and gauze and all that. And so we, we said, well, let's see what we can do for you. It was awful. And we, we cleaned the wound and um, all raw the, the boy. We didn't have any anesthetics or anything. Um, so we cleaned the wound and started treating him. Thankfully, we had a doctor coming uh, to the project and she had a look at it and said that we were going in the right direction and gave us some instructions on how to to, to carry on because we, we have no training. And we help people in the community with basic stuff, um, like any um, bandages and whatever we have. We are basically the people in the community when people have any headache, anything. They either come for prayer or for or whatever we have. And so we've been treating this boy for about three weeks. And we are very, very, very happy that we are reaching good results. And every time he comes in, we change the bandage and we send the pictures to the doctor that's assisting us. And, um, and so she's from a distance uh, directing us and saying, oh, this is good, this is good. Same for Lee, it's only good, 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 good. And so, um, so we've reached good results now. We're taking up some dead skin. And uh, yes, he did cry a little bit because some of his toes were still stuck together. 
But thankfully, this morning we managed to, to separate them and we're very happy for that. Although it's a, uh, it's a painful process for the boy, but we know it's for his good. As we're heading out of town, we're saying goodbye to everybody in Gubani. And Mama Marie and all her family are telling us to get out. Get out! Okay. And I like look at Celia like, what are they saying? She's saying, she said, they're saying get out. Get out. So they don't speak English. They think they're saying goodbye. Get, get out. out. Get, get out. out. So they're get telling out. us, I'll get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. How, lo how long have they been saying this? I don't know. Forever. Like, are you... And you don't tell them? I never told them. It's funny. <laughs> get out. I love going on safari. As we bring people on far-flung trips, we always try to work in a day to head to Kruger Park and just go on this wild adventure looking for animals. So we are pulled off on the side of the road um, in the neighboring park to Kruger National. We're going to our lodge and we spotted some zebras. So we're out taking pictures with them. Um, we are right outside of Kruger Park. We just arrived where we will be staying and the view was breathtaking as we came in to the place. I feel like I need to whisper. It's just so <laughs> peaceful and beautiful, as you can see. We've seen giraffes, elephants, wildebeest. Um, I don't know, just, it's amazing. Right now, we are about to leave the most amazing safari ever. The Their lives are gonna be- We're leaving for the most safari. Okay. Right us. now, we are living <laughs> the most amazing safari ever. Their lives have been changed by ministry, and now they're gonna be experiencing like a wild adventure. I hope nothing bad, like all good. <laughs> <laughs>
feel like we're going to see really close elephants today. Yes. It's a matter of careful obedience, careful waiting. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. So I am a very reactive person. So I act. No matter what, I, I act. So we are in Kruger Park, and then this elephant starts charging at us. And I just go like, oh, and then I, re I act, right? And I reverse the car. And so everyone says that I was scared. <laughs> but I was not scared. I, I was not scared. I was like, oh, <clears throat> and then I, <laughs> but they, these people think I was scared, but I was not scared, I swear. I was not scared. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I, I acted like, <clears throat> and then reversed. But. Cue the footage. <gasps> I feel like. Look at his eyelashes. <sighs> oh my gosh. That scared me. I was scared. <sighs> I gotta breathe. I like having anxiety right now. Celia and the team have made such a difference in Gumbani, but there are so many villages nearby. And so she said we had the opportunity to go celebrate Children's Day, which is a national holiday, in a neighboring village that they hadn't even been to before. And so there's like a thousand kids meeting in a schoolyard for Children's Day, and they let us come and minister and celebrate. Celia, her team, and Farfalang, our team, have come out to a village that they have never been to to do their children's program. <laughs> And you can tell these kids absolutely love it. They were so excited. Um, Celia and uh, Sabine put on this really cool production where they dressed up and they had entertainment for the kids and we did face painting and the kids kind of came in and out throughout the day. And you could tell it was just a really great community experience for them and they had so much fun. As we're leaving this other village, we had to get back on the truck, and everybody is just on 10, excited about what the Lord was doing that day and just working together. And so we had like 30 teenager volunteers in the back of this truck, and me and Carolyn crammed into the corner. What's going on, Carolyn? We're running on the back of the water truck, I believe. And these roads, we say roads, but I mean, these dirt roads, I mean, there are huge divots throughout it because of rain that has flushed through. And they're just singing on the top of the lungs, celebrating. And we're on the corner of this thing, on the side that the truck is leaning on. And we just keep looking at each other like, I think this is about to go down. Like, we're about to flip over in this truck. It's like the Titanic hit the iceberg, but only like a couple crew members realize like what this means and everybody's on the top deck just celebrating and we're just looking at each other like we're about to go down. This is what it felt like. They, before church even starts, they will show up like two hours early to start praying, to prepare the place, to prepare their hearts, and to pray for those who will set foot in that building that day, and to just call out to the Lord. And that blew my mind, two hours before church even started, and they're there praying. So we're here at the church. Um, they've been here since about 7.30 this morning, praying and getting ready for service. Um, it's now been almost an hour that they've been praying, and they're going to continue to pray just until they feel like it's time to transition over to the service. And so we are excited about this morning, spending Sunday morning service with them. There's going to be an overflow of a
The way the Lord um, ministered to our heart is about relationship. In my heart, I have this thing about to be known in heaven, to be known by Him more than anything. And when God connected me with Mama Maria a few years ago, we just connected in that level. The level of not being known on this earth, but being known in heaven and being known by God. And being known in the spirit realm because I don't want to just be known in heaven, I want in hell to know my name and I want them to, to tremble, you know, um, because of the power of the Lord in my life and because of that relationship with the Lord. And so we, that's what we naturally pass on to the church. Me and Mama are like in the same level in the spirit in that sense. And so she prays, I pray, and she, she teaches by doing it. And, and we teach the kids not only, we teach the kids how to do it, but not only how to do, but doing. So that's what we invest a lot in the church. Um, I do a lot of teaching, and Mama does the, 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 the practices it. So every other week, for example, we have a group of ladies that we lock ourselves up in a room and then we pray from eight to four in fasting and prayer. And this year we've been doing that once a month with the whole church. And the church is, is getting it. The church, um, actually, uh, when we did the first time this year, the church was like, can we do it every month? So I was like, yes, we can do it every month. Every January, we do a 12 days fast and prayer as well. So if prayer is in us, it's our being, it's our culture, it's, it's, our, uh, it's the core of everything we do. And that's what we teach. Not only saying pray, this is how to pray, and, but we do it with the church and we walk them through every step of it. Tell again. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hey, get out. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what that means? No. Okay. Tell, tell it. Oh, this is me. Uh, Martina, do you know what that means? No. No. Do you want me to tell her? Yes. Get out significa my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So every time we leave the house, we say bye, Mama, and she says, get out. <laughs> He knew. Get out, Mama! Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Tin Can is spreading the gospel and helping others in the most remote places on Earth. Our work in Mozambique is ongoing and you can be a part. You can apply to join us on our monthly far-flung trips, or you can help send us to far-flung places by giving. We believe our children should be thinking about the Great Commission. Be sure to purchase Adventures with Far-Flung, Salia's Sunflowers, based around the real-life ministry in this episode.